Hi, this is Nick at Quartic with updates of the CFA program curriculum from 2019 to 2020. So if you've done 2019 and unfortunately you're looking at this again, then this is what you need to know. At level one, in overview, there have been lots of little changes, but not that much. Most of your knowledge is going to be pretty useful to you this time around. Level two, rather more. There are five new readings. And level three, a much bigger overhaul. Let's have a look at some of the details. Level one, the overall picture is nothing huge. In fact, the total number of pages in your curriculum, if you like these statistics, is down 1.74%. Uh, don't worry, it hasn't got actually 1.74% easier, but you've just dropped a few pages. Um, quants in particular, the discounted cash flows reading, what used to be the second reading, that's gone, but almost the whole content has moved into other areas of, uh, of the curriculum. Various minor updates, ethics, that's the trust chapter, quants, there's a new test of the correlation coefficient and scatter chart have been introduced. Fixed income, a bit of a mention on negative interest rates, which is pretty well the norm in many parts of the world these days. Derivatives, some more calculations on options at expiration and on forward prices. FRA, there are new accounting standards on revenues and leases, so you need to know a little bit about them. And portfolio, little bits of rewriting, plus the money and time weighted rates of return that's from the dropped quants reading. And then finally, a bit of a reorganization. Uh, technical analysis has moved from quants to portfolio and portfolio has now moved to the final study session. Level two has slightly more updates compared to level one. Um, similar length, it's up actually 28 pages more than last year, which is a fraction of 1%. You can see there are five readings that have dropped. Um, various additions, there are two new quants readings. We're now looking at machine learning and big data projects. Uh, machine learning used to be part of regression. That's now, that now has its own reading. We go into rather more detail than we did last year. In corporate finance, the two wordy chapters on corporate governance and corporate performance, they have gone and been replaced with a brand new chapter on corporate governance and ESG. So very much topical what is needed these days. Uh, portfolio, two readings have gone, but they've been replaced with two on ETFs and trading costs. So um, not a vast amount of length in that but it's something we need to learn for the exam. Um, various other updates, uh, economics, uh, reading 12 is the new regulations chapter. That's uh, It's broadly the same content, but it has been fully rewritten. Um, ethics, very minor updates, nothing really that you'd even notice. Uh, FRA, a few updates on that. So financial assets and associates have been rewritten. Uh, the pooling method that has now been dropped. Level three continues the very significant revamp that started a couple of years back. Uh, we've got 12 readings removed, 14 added, so quite a substantial substantial overhaul going on here. You do need to look very carefully. If you've seen level three before, do be careful that you're not studying uh, from readings that are no longer there. You'll see a couple of updates as well. At Quartic, we're busy updating all our 2020 products, ready for you to start studying. Uh, we've refreshed a lot of the videos and of course replaced those where there are new readings. Uh, there are video quizzes now at all three levels. Level three is new for 2020. A full range of delivery options, whether it's in class, live online, live recorded or pre-recorded, uh, we have these ready for you. Uh, brand new what's called a Q sheet, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, prices we've kept stable. Some of them we've tried to bring them down compared to last year. And also we have an expanded white label product. So if you see yourself as a teacher, then do please let us know. Uh, in terms of the Q sheet, you can see this is the rough style of how it looks. It's a brief summary on a fairly small number of pages of each curriculum, really your, uh, your learn me guide. This is what you need in your revision stages, but quite useful to have on you as you work through your studies for the exam. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon.